Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video, it's Viper26, or Brett here, and this is an update video on, well, a FNAF Security Breach uh, update patch that will be coming out next month in February. Steelwall tweeted this yesterday, um, saying that the update will uh, be coming out early to mid-February and that it will be fixing major, major bugs in the game and adding some quality of life improvements to the game. So, with the first category being bug fixes, there will be serious visual and performance um, fixes for all platforms, most notably for PlayStation 4, because we all know if you've seen it or played it on PS4, um, the textures really aren't that great as they are, of course, on PS5 and PC. Reasoning is because they had to lower the textures down on the game for... Um, it to release on time on PlayStation 4. Now they did say that not all of the issues have been addressed like hitches that occur outside of moment to moment gameplay between attractions but we think you'll be happy with the steps we've taken toward an overall better experience. They made changes to the jump scares so characters don't jump scare you while the cre game's credits is, are, um, is going and um, characters will not disappear during jump scares, so we won't get those wall jump scares anymore. Also, they fixed issues with the world improperly loading and unloading. Um, an example of this that they fixed is unloading uh, the entire world when entering Freddy, so rip, we can't do all them bugs and with that, and can't speedrun with that anymore. They also said additionally we fixed edge case bugs like missions not triggering if a specific series of events occur in a specific order, getting out of bounds under certain conditions and certain exploits, so get your fun in while you can. And I will be streaming Security Breach trying to, trying to break the game as much as I can <laughs> and just like do like little speedrun things. And overall, just break the game. And this means we won't be able to do the save after 6 a.m. glitch anymore, unfortunately. But, not really unfortunately, because this next one, the second category, quality of life improvements. They've said that we've added a single save station in the atrium for overtime, allowing you to save between end game events. Our goal is to make unlocking certain endings more difficult. We succeeded but at the expense of the fun. We hope more folks will uh, pursue the game's endings with these improvements. So, yes, don't worry about the save after 6 a.m. glitch. They are, there will be one save station in the atrium where we'll, we will be able to save after 6 a.m. They've also extended the skip cinema system, which is where you skip cutscenes in cinematic moments like the sun and moon transformation sequence in the daycare. They also said that we've looked at ways to better telegraph goals and pass paths forward. For example, the colors of the cables in the daycare now use the same color system that we use in parts and service, so that it's a little easier to get through that sequence. So yes, people getting stuck for like an hour. I think I was stuck at the what's it called the um, area with Monty and Roxy the um prize uh the prize counter area i was stuck in that for like a half an hour to an hour not knowing where to go but for people who are stuck in that and want to know where to go or like have a hint to it we're going to be getting that they've also done a first pass of reducing the game's overall size on disc so when the disc version of the game comes out it won't uh the size of the game won't be as big They've also made some overall balance changes to things like burn traps boss battle and hiding spots. After all this, they said again, these are high level descriptions. The patch notes will be more granular. I think I said that right. We've got a final version of the patch in test now, and so far, it looks promising. We are going to be taking our time to make sure it's solid, which is why you won't see it released for a bit. Thank, uh, thanks for taking the time to read this, and we'll keep everyone 
Uh, we'll keep everyone up to date with any other plans slash changes you should know about. And that was the executive producer, Ray McCra uh, McCaffrey. Hopefully I said his name right. I hope Hopefully I did not butcher that. But yeah, guys, as you can tell, they are working really, really hard on updating and fixing this game for all platforms. And I really think that's amazing. Not many de uh, game developers um, focus on fixing the games. Like I've said in a couple of videos before, they mainly f uh, focus on, ooh, more content, fix bugs in between or later. No, they are fixing bugs now, adding additional content and DLC to the game later. And I really like that. They are putting so much wor um, hard work and time into this and really I really appreciate it thank you Steel Wall you have made an amazing game and I'm very very uh, happy and glad that you are tr doing your best to fix this game and do your uh, and do your best with it anyways guys that was um, the patch notes for the next update for security breach so anyways Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.